You are watching ABC 7 News at 5.30. Welcome back. Developers with major plans for land along Fruit Flow Road are enraged tonight after a Florida Department of Transportation unveiled its plan for a diverging diamond in that same area. The land in question is located just east of the I-75 Fruitville Road interchange. ABC 7's Taylor Torregano is live there now with why these developers are so concerned. Taylor? Good evening, Jacqueline Scott. The developers tell me this diverging diamond project would completely ruin the plans they have for this land. It was 10 years of work worth nearly a million dollars. Five parcels of open land with big plans. Multifamily residential, it's hotel, retail, office, self-storage, um, all the broad uses under the Fruitville Initiative. The Fruitville Initiative, a special plan drafted by Sarasota County Commissioners to develop this land east of I-75 on Fruitville Road. More than 10 years ago, the five property owners of this 300 acres began working on the expansion with one common goal. Designed around pedestrians, walkability, mixed use and dispersing traffic through a, through a whole street grid. One that would resemble a new downtown that was all set to break ground by the end of this year. That is, until Thursday, when the Florida Department of Transportation unveiled its plan to put a diverging diamond here at a public hearing. And that just defeats the whole purpose of dispersing traffic and walkability. Oh, I think it would destroy it entirely. You know, there was a, a very significant effort, uh, a planning effort for the Fruitville Initiative conducted over a course of eight or nine years with tremendous tremendous amount of community input uh, to try to create um, a nice uh, new urbanism concept of a walkable community. What FDOT is proposing uh, simply destroys that. The developers say the diverging diamond will completely shut off the access point for their new expansion. We're, we're bewildered and puzzled. FDOT tells us it wasn't immediately aware of the effect its plans would have on the development and added that this project is still in the design phase. The department's always been very cooperative with the local residents and encouraged feedback um, through all phases, like I said, through the design and the construction phase. Now, these developers tell me last night's public hearing answered none of their questions about the potential impacts of this project. They say now their only option is to write those concerns into FDOT on their website and hope for the best. I'm live just off of Fruitville Road, Taylor Torregano, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Okay, Taylor, thank you. Breaking news tonight out of Sarasota. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office warning people driving eastbound on Fruitville Road about a road closure. The right lane on Ruger Ranch Road is closed because of a car accident. Deputies say no one was injured. Scott? New details tonight on a major road project in downtown Venice. The city is now making some changes after listening to business owners' concerns. The project will reconstruct Tampa, Venice, and Miami Avenues between US 41 and Harbor Drive. Crews will be adding crosswalks, more lighting, fixing cracked sidewalks, and more. Earlier this week, some downtown business owners told city leaders they did not like having the, the idea of having the eastbound lanes of Venice Avenue closed right at the start of the busy season. So the city decided to change the project schedule. Now the contractor will do the majority of work on those lanes in July through October and the westbound lanes in October and November. New photos into our newsroom tonight of the Coast Guard rescuing two boaters after their vessel capsized six miles off of Longboat Key. Calls came in around 8.30 on Thursday night that the boat was taking on water. By 8.50, crews were there picking them up. The Coast Guard found them clinging to the hole. Thankfully, no one was injured. All right, let's get a check on our weather. A lot of people uh, want to get outside mm -hmm. tonight, maybe despite the heat, to check on our, uh, our beautiful beaches yeah. and so forth. Let's get a, a check on our forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Or maybe they want to go to the, uh, again, Friday Fest. The 90 degrees right now, the heat index at 100. It's hot out there, and as I said earlier, bring an umbrella, not for the rain, but for the heat. You're going to need it. Friday Fest evening planner uh, Joe Rule is going to be out there uh, performing. Always a great band, a good time. Here's a look now at the forecast uh, from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It goes till 9, but uh, temperatures right here into the mid 80s to start things off, low 80s to end it. But the heat index will still be in the 90s all the way through uh, that event. So uh, pretty hot uh, for this time of year, all due to that west wind. At least there's no rain, right, to wash it out. As far as the storms go, most of the action as it has been through this week inland and along the east coast, not much going on here. And it looks like that's soon to change though on Sunday 
we'll start to see a return to those uh, coastal showers and storms late in the day. But right now, light rain. This was just south of Duet about a half hour ago. Now it's uh, to the east and northeast or southeast of uh, Duet. A few showers are popping up here in the Gulf of Mexico once in a while. You'll see that uh, overnight, too. There's a chance for some late night showers uh, tonight. The rain chance at about 30% and one or two could generate some lightning, but it's unlikely uh, we will see those some spotty showers developing uh, during the overnight and along the coast in the morning, but nothing to worry about. It should not rain anything out at this point. As far as the high pressure goes, it's still parked to the south of us. It will be moving, though, uh, by Saturday night, Sunday. It'll start to shift off to the north, and this trough of low pressure still hanging on there, bringing some rainfall to the southeast United States. Again, uh, the evening planner to 11 o'clock. We're going to see uh, temperatures into the low 80s there with some clouds around. It looks as though we will see that wind stay out of the west, so at least a west wind will stay with us, and then a light and variable wind to start things off tomorrow morning. More on your forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. He, he mentioned the Friday Fest. Here's a live look at the event right now outside the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall in Sarasota. You can come on and enjoy the sunset, live music, stop by the ABC7 booth. The event is free. You're encouraged to bring a blanket or a long chair. Food and drinks are also on sale at the concert site along Sarasota Bay, and it goes until 9 o'clock tonight. President Trump is giving his full endorsement to U.S. Representative Ron DeSantis in Florida's race for governor. Today, the president tweeting out his support for the Republican. He's vying for the GOP nomination, but recent polls have shown him trailing Adam Putnam. Florida's agriculture commissioner has also raised more money than DeSantis. President Trump tweeting, DeSantis is strong on borders, tough on crime, and big on cutting taxes. Good news for Florida's economy. For the first time in history, all three credit rating agencies have given the state a triple A rating. That is the highest credit rating possible. What that means for you at home is that you may soon see savings in future state interest payments. Former Suncoast High School football star who now plays for the Atlanta Falcons is giving back to the community tonight. Brian Poole played for Southeast High School, the Florida Gators, and now a member of the Atlanta Falcons. Tonight, the 25-year-old is holding his second annual football camp at the Manatee County Police Athletic League. The free camp is open to kids ages 8 to 17. Poole says he promised himself if he made the pros, he would not forget to come back home and help kids here. It's a really good feeling just because, I mean, at one point I was one of those kids, you know, going to, you know, some of the guys from the community camps and, you know, stuff like that. So just, you know, for the tables to turn and, you know, me to be the guy who kids are coming to my camp is really a blessing and an honor. For two years? Two years. Poole says now, several hundred years. young players signed up for the camp and it's going on right now again at the Police Athletic League. A 16-year-old highly ranked junior tennis player from Nokomis recently won a prestigious tennis tournament. Sophia Edwards participated in the USTA All-American College Combine. It's a recruiting showcase hosted by the USTA in hopes to increase the number of American juniors that have the opportunity to earn collegiate tennis scholarships. The event was attended by more than 50 college coaches. Sophia won the girls' tournament, defeating her opponent in the final 4-2. I'm really tired after such a competitive match, but I'm really happy. It's so tough to get into those tournaments, so I'm really excited to go and compete in the main draw. The boy and girl winner of the match play portion were both awarded a main draw wild card to a future $15,000 USTA Pro Circuit event. College scholarship on the way, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, huh? certainly. Still to come on your Suncoast News, Delta Airlines no longer allowing passengers to fly with pit bull type dogs. Why the ban is now sparking some backlash on social media. Plus, an old tuberculosis vaccine could work against diabetes. We'll tell you how next. want a Maserati, but you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. 
Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. The summer sizzles at the Player Center with the opening of Crossing Delancey. City cultures collide in this charming play about a young woman searching for love and the New York dream. Opening June 14th, call 365-2494 or visit theplayers.org. Get your tickets to the perfect romantic comedy, Crossing Delancey. My name is Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. The skills you develop as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment that will give you a leg up in the civilian world. Learn critical leadership skills and to be part of a team. Serve your community and your country part-time while earning money for an education. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. Type 1 diabetes. More than a million people in the United States deal with it every day. ABC's Stephanie Ramos tells us how there may be a new treatment from an old drug. There's a tuberculosis vaccine widely used in other countries called BCG. And once research is complete, it could end up treating diabetics in the U.S. The BCG vaccine is used to prevent childhood tuberculosis effects on the brain. But a new study tried it out on type 1 diabetes, the type many Americans are diagnosed with in childhood and adolescence. Blood sugar levels of diabetics who got the vaccine didn't change much at first, but three and four years later, blood sugar levels were greatly improved. Researchers think the BCG vaccine does this by preventing the autoimmune effects of type 1 diabetes. The study was eight years long and had a huge impact on the understanding of the vaccine's effect on glucose breakdown. Research is slated to continue until it's proven in larger studies. No date on when it might be available for use or how much it will cost, but for type 1 diabetics, this vaccine might be some welcomed news. With this Medical Minute, I'm Stephanie Ramos for ABC News. Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at our first alert weather forecast, Bob. What can we expect? Thanks, Jackson. Right now we're watching, uh, this is the Van Wezel right there. People are already starting to show up. Uh, clouds are not showing up much in terms of rainfall. You can see that steady west wind with these fair weather cumulus clouds. And some folks out there sailing on the, taking it easy on this Friday night to start the weekend off. It would be nice to be out there on a boat, wouldn't it? Uh, here's what's happening right now. Some showers moving off to the east. Uh, some bigger storms near West Palm Beach. Pompano Beach and southward, not much out here in the Gulf of Mexico. All is uh, fairly quiet. Once in a while we see an isolated shower. You saw the one just produce a couple of lightning strikes. We could see that later on tonight too. Just one or two lone storms out there. It won't be around long as they push off to the east with a west wind. And uh, so Wachula has had some rain. We had some rain earlier near the coast this morning. One lone shower. As I mentioned, we could see another one tomorrow morning to start things off. But it's not going to be a big factor as far as it washing any events out tomorrow morning. Uh, as far as the one loan store in our State Road 64, right there into Hardy County, just to the west of Wachula. Most of the rain over in Wachula it has cooled off there a little bit as a result of the storms that were around. Some weak shower activity there now, just some light rainfall. Uh, this is a look at the rainfall estimates by the Doppler radar site. And you'll notice one little patch there along I-75, 
uh, north and east of Venice, and that is about it in Manatee and Sarasota County. So it has been uh, rather lacking. We had four inches yesterday with some of the cells that pushed on through. And with high pressure in control, uh, the high pressure to our south, this high pressure is eventually going to move off to the north, and we're going to see that uh, set up just to the east of the state, which will bring us more of an easterly wind on Sunday. When that happens, we're going to get that uh, change in wind flow. Right now, it's basically out of the uh, west to pushing off to the east. As far as the future cast goes, showers and storms around tonight winding down. But then, as I mentioned in the morning, a chance for an isolated shower or two, but generally sunny skies, and it will be a warm start again. Low temperatures right around 80 degrees to uh, kick things off on Saturday. And then a few inland storms expected uh, late in the afternoon. Those two will have a tendency to head toward the coast on the other side. And then on Sunday, you'll start to see that wind flow uh, switch around more to an east southeasterly direction. Eight o'clock in the morning, though, still a chance for a coastal shower. And then the winds become very light and variable with the uh, sea breeze kind of hanging on right there. And some of those showers will eventually make their way back toward the coast as well. 90 right now, the heat index at 100. And the relative humidity at 61%. Winds out of the west. A pretty good breeze, though, at 16 miles an hour. The pressure 29.96 inches. The high today, as it has been, above average. A few degrees above average. Whenever you get a west wind, you don't see the record high temperatures. East winds create record highs for us here. Uh, 98 set back in 1927. Well, the forecast for Saturday, the top number is the heat index. The bottom, the actual temperature, will start off at, eight, uh, at 82 degrees. It'll feel like 90. 96 by 10 o'clock and it stays right around 100 degrees feels like temperature right through uh, the uh, four o'clock hour uh, starting to cool a little bit down at five o'clock. Well, in the tropics, all is quiet. Thankfully, nothing going on right now uh, to really be too concerned about in the Caribbean. Good cruising weather down there and throughout the Gulf of Mexico. That storm system that had brought the uh, heavy rain in Texas is over now and uh, some showers blowing up across parts of Mississippi and Alabama tonight. So the national radar and satellite combination showing the storm systems continue to fire up here in Colorado. It's the same kind of system that brought the hail there yesterday, the incredible hail and the low pressure area spinning over Indiana and Illinois, also bringing some showers and clouds there all the way through Ohio. For boaters tomorrow and not much of a wind out there, right around 10 knots out of the west and the water temperature now at 87 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast for you. Uh, heat index, a big concern, uh, maybe a little bit cooler, more chance for showers and storms scattered about on Sunday. They will be scattered though. Doesn't appear it's gonna be a washout. Temperature staying near 90 with a pretty good bet for scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Another good bet, tarpon. They're all around here and especially right near the coastline. A lot of tarpon have been showing up lately and uh, we're gonna check some video out. I hope here we go. Uh, some anglers out there too because there's a big tarpon tournament taking place. Get a look at this from a drone camera that you see right here. Uh, Cortland Hunt uh, getting this and allowing us to use it. You can see a lot of boaters. This one, a boat goes right by it. Uh, a school of those tarpon hanging out. They're about 100 to 150 pound tarpon right there. And as you can see, uh, their water is very clear. And typically, in order to catch them, you need a little bit of a chop out there. Uh, this is at Bean Point at the north end of Anna Maria Island. And this is where they kind of hang out there. And that's also where the big hammerheads hang out, as we saw earlier this week when those hammerheads were attacking uh, that tarpon right there. And again, look how clear that water is. Is that clear or what? Yeah, we're going to pictures. Uh, this is uh, Captain Alan Roth with his client. And the Reds are back. The Reds are back. And Captain Alan Roth said he caught this near Sarasota. Had no uh, effects of red tide. He was in the northern portion of Sarasota, though, in the bay. Uh, also, Captain Johnny Walker, this past Sunday, was out with his daughter for Father's Day. They, too, caught a nice big gag grouper there, you know, enjoying it as opposed to working. Captain and his daughter, Kelly. And Coach Steve Herrick took this gentleman out who was celebrating Father's Day as well. Their family took uh, this guy out from Sweden. Sweden on Longboat Key catching a big snook. Uh, Cobia, near shore, Sarasota Captain Brian Marcy, he's on the left there. He took his client out. I got to tell you, that Cobia is big, and those are fun to catch. He caught that, he said, right near Sarasota, right by the beaches. He had no impacts of red tide. Now, the fishing guides are really good indicators of uh, how bad the red tide is because right. they have a bait well, and as they move across the waters, sometimes if the red tide's bad, those bait will die. Mm. And I've not had any reports of that, so that's a good sign. It's there. People are having an impact. We saw the report earlier near mm -hmm. Venice. It, it can be uh, bothersome for folks, especially uh, people with respiratory problems. And affect their business as well. Oh, those, yeah, absolutely. Those charter captains. Sorry.
All right, thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Well, time now to check your first alert traffic for the drive home. Right now, the northbound lanes of I-75 are backed up from Fruitville Road, stretching north to the Ellington exit. The southbound lanes are looking clear. Scott? Thanks, Jacqueline. An update now from SunPass. Users will not be charged late fees or penalties for the state's error during a recent system update. The current billing delay will not impact customers' ability to travel on the system. Some past customers will continue to be charged at tolls. A timeline will be announced soon as to when fees will be restarted for past due accounts. A legendary Chevy SUV is making a comeback. A new Chevrolet Blazer was unveiled in Atlanta on Thursday and will hit showrooms next year. General Motors, Chevrolet's parent company, stopped making Blazers back in 2005, but SUV sales have been going through the roof recently, so the GM, or so GM rather, wants to offer those vehicles again in a variety of sizes. The choice of engines will include a four-cylinder or a V6. Delta Airlines no longer allowing passengers to fly with pit bull type dogs as service or support animals. The airline statement says its new ban responds to growing safety concerns after several employees were bitten. But the ban is pro uh, prompting social media backlash, as you might expect. Delta also says it's limiting travelers to a single emotional support animal per flight. All of these changes take effect on July 10th. Now, we asked what your thoughts were to this ban on our Facebook page. Michael says, quote, with the breed's history, it's a smart move due to the liability. Janine says, quote, if they are a true service dog, then they are trained and there should never be a problem unless someone is attacking their owner. This is ridiculous and a very stupid decision. While Carol says, if they are certified, then they should be allowed. If you want to add your voice to this conversation, you can drop a comment on our Facebook page. Just search for My Suncoast or WWSB. AT&T is launching a streaming service. The company says Watch TV will feature TV channels it now owns after purchasing Time Warner. The service will allow customers to stream more than 30 live channels, including CNN, TBS, and TNT on mobile devices. Watch TV is the company's first big product rollout since closing that Time Warner deal last week. Didn't take long for them to do nope. that, did it? <laughs> Entertainment News is next. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Outback is an IIHS top safety pick for 10 years running. Lease a new Subaru Outback today for just $2.49 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. So, how many of us feel completely confident about our financial future? Let's hear some specifics. Yes, go ahead. I don't want to be a burden to my kids. When my husband died, it took almost all of our savings to give him a proper funeral. I honestly don't know if there's enough to bury me, let alone cover expenses should something happen. Okay. Let's talk solutions. One thing you may want to get in place is a guaranteed whole life insurance policy from United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, which is a mutual of Omaha company. This is affordable coverage, which provides a cash payment, which can cover funeral expenses, bills, and other financial needs. Most payments are on their way within 24 hours. Yes, sir. I need medical exams, you know, things like that. No medical exams. If you're between the ages of 45 and 85, you can call this number or you can go online and apply for coverage up to $25,000. United of Omaha Guaranteed Whole Life Insurance. Call or go online now. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online or visit a Target store today.
Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. The future of the cast and crew of ABC's hit show Roseanne is becoming more clear. The network dropped the show just a few weeks ago after its star Roseanne Barr posted racist and bizarre tweets on Twitter, now confirming that it is moving ahead with the Connor family without Roseanne Barr. The spinoff will have the working title called The Connors. Barr said she wishes the best for everyone involved. That spinoff will premiere in Roseanne's former time spot sometime this fall. The 60s band The Monkees have postponed the last few dates of their tour due to an illness. The band behind Daydream Believer and other songs posting on Facebook, their guitarist Mike Nesmith is dealing with a minor health issue. The 75-year-old returned to his home in California. The rest of the group shows will be rescheduled. A former man of steel has traded his cape in for a badge. Former Superman actor Dean Cain was sworn in as a St. Anthony Reserve police officer in East Idaho. Cain played the superhero in the TV series Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. The actor telling reporters, quote, real superheroes are members of military, law enforcement, and first responders. How big a roar will the Jurassic World sequel have at the box office this weekend? Well, chances are it won't be as big as the first film, which was the first movie to score a $200 million opening weekend when it debuted back in 2015. Tracking has Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom opening somewhere in the $130 to $140 million range, which is still a lot of dino dough. <laughs> and no other films, though, are opening this weekend, so it should do pretty well, but yeah. it's got The Incredibles to, to go against. I know. It's, yeah. what, second or third weekend of that, I guess? Yep. And so it's still going pretty, pretty strong on that. My daughter saw The Jurassic World today, this afternoon, okay. and, and loved it. So. Really? Rave reviews from her. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more news and weather. If you think it's hot outside, just wait until you see even hotter savings inside. Only at Rugs Says Art Hot Summer Savings Sale event will you find the lowest prices on a vast selection of stunning rugs, furniture accents, and accessories. This special event only happens once a year, so hurry in before the best selections are gone. The hot summer savings event ends soon, so don't miss out on the best prices ever. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, Enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Hi, I'm Janelle Hale, founder and CEO of the National Breast Cancer Foundation. No one should face breast cancer alone. When I was diagnosed 36 years ago, there was no internet and I had to make a decision with little information. Early detection saved my life. It could save yours too. 
To learn what every woman needs to know about breast cancer, visit nbcf.org hope. Keep up with the Suncoast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device.